Hello everyone and welcome back or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sophie and this is my YouTube channel. I sadly have a bad hearing loss, so I'm sorry if I sometimes speak too loud or too quietly. But I hope you will find this video interesting anyways. All crime videos are made for educational purposes only. Today we are going to talk about a serial killer who made it to the list of the 10 most wanted. He abducted and raped at least 10 women and killed at least 8 of them during a spree across the United States in the early 1984. Christopher Bernard Wilder was born on March 13, 1943 in Australia. His father was an American naval officer and his mother an Australian. He almost died when he was two years old by almost drowning in a swimming pool, but he recovered it. In 1963, when Wilder was only 20 years old, he pleaded guilty in the case of a gang rape at a beach in Sydney and was put on probation, during which time he also received electroshock therapy. There is some evidence to suggest that this treatment only made his violent sexual tendencies worse. In 1968 he married, but his wife left after only a week. Then Walda immigrated to the United States in 1969, where he lived in Boynton Beach, Florida in a mansion on Mission Hill Road. Here he made a small fortune in real estate while developing an interest in photography. Over the next few years, however, between 1971 and 1975, he was in and out of court facing various charges related to sexual misconduct. He eventually raped a young woman he had lured into his truck on the pretense of photographing her for a modeling contract. This would be what he would be known for during his later rape and murder spree. Despite several convictions, Wilder was never jailed for any of these crimes. In 1982, he went to Australia to visit his parents. He was charged with sexual offenses against two 15 years old girls, whom he had forced to pose nude. He was allowed to return to Florida to await trial after his parents posted bail, but court delays prevented his case from being heard. His first murder was that of Rosario Gonzalez. Rosario was last seen on February 26, 1984 at the Miami Grand Prix, where she was employed as a model. Soon after, on March the 5th, Wilder's former girlfriend and Miss Florida finalist Elizabeth Kenyon disappeared. Neither woman was ever found. Wilder was known to both of them and police were able to link him to these cases, but on March 15th, Wilder went on the run. On March 18th, he lured 21-year-old Terry Ferguson away from a shopping center in Satellite Beach and brutally murdered her. He then dumped her body at Canaveral Gross, where it was discovered a few days later on March 23rd. His next victim was a 19-year-old girl who he abducted and transported to Bainbridge, Georgia on March the 20th. When she declined his offer to photograph her for a modeling agency, he assaulted her, bound her hands and wrapped her in a blanket and put her into the trunk of his car. In a motel room that night, he raped her then glued her eyes closed and tortured her by applying copper wires to her feet and passing an electric current through them. When she tried to escape, he threatened to kill her, but he fled after her scream attracted the other guests' attentions. The next day on March 21st, Wilder approached 24-year-old Terry Walden in Beaumont, Texas, about posing as a model. She turned him down, but on March 23rd, she disappeared. 
Wilder transferred his stolen license plates to her Mercury Koga and dumped her body in a kennel where she was found on March 26th. On that day, the body of 21-year-old Suzanne Logan was found in Oklahoma City. She had disappeared the day before. Suzanne had been raped and tortured before being stabbed to death. On March 29th, Wilder took 18-year-old Cheryl Bonaventura captive in Colorado. They were seen together at a diner in Silverton where they told staff they were heading for Las Vegas. Shell was shot and stabbed to death around March 31 in Utah, but not found until May the 5th. Wilder also killed 17-year-old Michelle Kaufman, an aspiring model who disappeared from Las Vegas on April the 1st. She remained undiscovered until May 13th. Shortly after Michelle's disappearance, Wilder photographed 16-year-old Tina Marie near Torrance, California before abducting her and driving her to El Centro where she was assaulted. Wilder apparently believed that Tina Marie would be robotic enough to help him lure other victims so he kept her alive and told her that if she would help him find his next victim he would let her go. Wilder then made it to the FBI 10 most wanted list. He and Tina Marie now went to Gary, Indiana, where she helped him abduct 16-year-old Donette Wilt. They found her in a shopping center and Tina Marie told her that Wilder was a professional photographer, so she went with them. Wilt was then raped several times and taken to New Rochester, where Wilder took Donette into the woods and attempted to suffocate her before stabbing her twice in the chest and leaving her. Donette luckily enough survived and managed to escape and then told police that Wilder was heading for Canada. In Victor, Tina Marie persuaded 33-year-old Beth Dutch to approach them. Wilder forced Beth into his car and Tina Marie followed him with Beth's car. After a short drive, Wilder shot Beth and dumped her in a gravel pit. He and Tina Marie then drove with Beth's car to Logan Airport in Boston, where he bought her a ticket to Los Angeles. He knew that the game was over and that he soon would be caught. Why he let Tina Marie live is still unclear to me. On April 13th, he attempted to abduct another young woman after offering her a ride to a gas station, but she escaped and shortly afterwards, he arrives at a gas station in Coldbrook, New Hampshire, where he was noticed by some state troopers. As they approached him, he reached into the car for his gun. Trooper Leo Jellison jumped onto Wilder's back and during the scuffle the gun went off twice. The first shot hit the killer and also went into Leo's liver. The second blew out Wilder's heart, killing him instantly. His death was officially listed as a suicide. Leo made a full recovery from his injuries. Wilder was cremated in Florida, leaving a personal estate worth at almost two million dollars along with the eight known victims he killed during February to April 1984 he has been linked to the murders and disappearances of many other women as well the bodies of his first two victims Elizabeth Kenson and Rosario Gonzalez have never been found thank you for listening and see you in the next case